Hello. The title of this video is The Soft Bigotry of Terry O'Neill. Terry O'Neill is the president of NOW, the National Organization of Women. Just recently, she made some comments regarding the Pain Capable Unborn Child Protection Act. Her comments she made, she really wanted to make them sound like she really respects women and she was standing up for women. But when we examine what she said, we see that actually she fell back on soft bigotry about women in order to make her point. Now what do I mean by that? Well, O'Neill claims that the only reason that anybody would be for the bill to ban abortion at 20 weeks when unborn children can feel pain and their nervous systems are developed is because they hate women. They want to keep women down. The usual stuff we hear from mainstream feminists. Okay. Now, this is, let me read a quote of what she said about this. Okay, quote. Late-term abortions are undertaken by women for very good reasons, but an example of the disdain for women that undergirds this 20-week ban has just, that has just been introduced in the House of Representatives is that it only makes sense if you first presume that women are liars, that women are fickle, that they don't know anything about what it means to bring a child into the world. It's demeaning, it's offensive, and it's deeply unconstitutional. She goes on to say, again about women as a group, as a whole, she goes on to say that she trusts women. She says this bill is, is all about it's we don't trust women, but I personally do trust women. Now this is a very curious thing for a feminist to do, to take a whole group of humans and based on a morally irrelevant characteristic, gender, to lump them all into one group and say they all possess these same moral characteristics. For her, women don't lie, women aren't fickle, and they're all to be trusted. That's her soft bigotry. Women, of course, are human beings and complex human beings as any other group of human beings. There are some women who lie, there are some women who don't. There are some women who are fickle. There are some women who aren't. There are some women who, knows wh who know what it means to bring life into the world. And there are some who don't. And I, I don't think I could ever say I trust women as a whole because I've met many different women in my life. And they're, they're all women are so very different. They have different characters, different ways of thinking, different values different religions, different systems of thought. Women as a whole are, are a complex group, just as men are. So, O'Neill, who is the president of the National Organization of Women, engaged in soft bigotry in order to mount a defense against the bill that, that was brought into the House of Representatives that recently. So, O'Neill perpetrated sexism against women. She lumped women together as a group, and based on a morally irrelevant characteristic, their gender, said that they all possess the same fundamental qualities. They don't lie. They're not fickle. They know what it means to bring a life into the world, and they're trustworthy. And again, that sounds pretty nice. If you don't think about it too much and you just listen to it on the surface, it sounds like she's really saying some nice things about all women. But the fact of the matter is, that's bigoted. There's nothing you can say about all women or all men or all African Americans or all Hispanic people or all... Uh, Irish people, or all Italian people, or all Norwegian people. There's you just there's no sorts of generalizations like that that you can make about an entire group of people based on a morally irrelevant characteristic. So, look, 
feminist establishment. You need to have a lot, you need to think your positions out a lot better. Make sure you're not engaging in soft bigotry against women in order to defend abortion. And, and you really have to think, if Terry O'Neill, the president of the National Organization of Women, just engaged in soft bigotry against women in order to defend abortion, she's obviously not defending defending abortion out of concern for women since she just committed bigotry against them, so why does she defend it? Terry O'Neill, why do you defend abortion? Thank you.